We're going to learn how to program a classic game uh, called Mastermind. Um, so Mastermind is a uh, code detection game. Uh, so what we have here, uh, it used to be a physical game that you would play with another person and you would have pegs of different colors and you'd try to figure out what colors their pegs were at the end of the game and then uh, they would give you clues, uh, which I'll go over. Uh, in order to uh, get there before uh, before you ran out of guesses. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll include um, this game here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to guess a combination of red, green, blue, and yellow. So there's eight different peg colors. And we know that there are four unique colors at the end. So there's no duplicating of green uh, or whatever other color. So we know that it's using half of the colors uh, in some kind of order. So I'm going to check this and we'll see what we get. So this clue tells me that two of the colors that we are using uh, are in the final code and two of them are not in the final code. So what I should be trying to do is try to figure out, okay, which ones do I have in the final code? So this is, a, this is an okay start. So I'm going to uh, go at a, a very slow step-by-step -step way. Uh, I'm gonna change one thing at a time. So let's go with um, red, green, blue and I'm, I'll show you in, in a minute why I'm uh, I'm changing the positions of these and then I'm just gonna guess randomly maybe the yellow isn't in the final code maybe there's a brown so I'll check this okay so now what I have discovered from this is that uh, I have two numbers uh, two of these sorry two colors that are in the final code not only are in the final code, but because of this red coloring, they're actually in the correct places. So this is very important. Um, so I'm going to uh, continue to cycle through. So let's uh, say, I, I don't wanna move things too much. Uh, I'm gonna do red, green, blue, and brown. So because I know that things are uh, in the correct place, if they turn white, I know that I've moved them out of place. Okay, so here's what I know from this. Um, what, either blue or brown is in the final code. So I know only one of those is. And if it's brown, it's gonna be at the beginning. And if it's blue, it's going to be at the end. So let's try this combination. So I'm gonna go blue. Uh, no, I'm gonna do blue at the end. I'll keep my red and green here, and then I'll do an orange to see if orange might be in the final combination. Okay, so here's uh, what I'm guessing based on this. Blue is in the final combination in this position. Either red or green is in the final combination, but not both, and orange should not be in the final combination. So I'm going to pick uh, black here. So again, I, I like changing as little as possible. Uh, sometimes you can kind of get lucky. Uh, so here's what I've discovered on this one. Black is in the correct position because it's the only thing I've changed and it is red. So white means that it's in the in the code but not in the correct position. And black means that it is in the code, uh, sorry, red means it is in the code and in the correct position. So now what I've got to do is I've got to figure out, okay, I'm very confident, well, I'm positive this is black. That's, um, it would be impossible for it to be otherwise. Now, what I've got to figure out is either red is in the final combination or green is in the final combination. The only color I have yet to use is white. So uh, I will either have it correct on this guess or the following guess 
uh, where I'm going to put the green back in and then uh, replace this red with white. Okay, so there we go. So now what I know is that white is in the final combination, so it's represented by this white circle, but it is not here. So that means it's got to be here. I have determined that black is there, blue has to be there, and the only other change that I made was that I removed green. So I'm going to put green back in, I'm going to check, and uh, it will say, uh, congratulations, you win, because I now have the final code that is at the end. So what we will be programming is this game essentially, except we're going to be using uh, numbers instead of colors uh, because we have learned how to use random numbers, as well uh, as uh, we have um, we have learned how to do loops. So we're going to treat each iteration of this guessing game as a loop. And we're also going to be using the numbers because it'll be a little bit more challenging to uh, to actually write in uh, the, the colors, blue, uh, green, and make sure that all the spelling is correct. So it's going to be so much easier with color uh, numbers to represent the colors.